Hello, I'm Dr. Crowley and welcome to Case of the Day. Today we're going to talk about an individual who came in today uh, that complained of injuring their eye, something we see not uncommonly, um, especially here in Florida. And so what happened was, is this gentleman went outside to cut his grass and got his weed whacker out and told me I forgot to put on my protective eyewear and so he's doing his weed whacking and um, suddenly a rock flew up and hit him in the eye. So when he came in today, his vision was still normal, 20-20 in both eyes, but the white part of his eye was all full of blood, not all the way around that, but most of the way around. Um, and um, fortunately it appears that he didn't actually tear his eye open he just had a contusion and a hemorrhage so the blood vessels that cover over the white part of the or what's called the sclera uh, the conjunctiva contain blood vessels those were broken and he hemorrhaged on the surface of his eye uh, and we dilated his eye looked around inside he didn't do any damage inside his eye or tear his retina but he has a very large hemorrhage on the surface of his eye and so um, it appears he's going to be okay and that um, this will heal and he'll be, he'll, he will be fine. But, these, but there can be serious injuries. So someone who is doing something, especially construction work or different kinds of work, and you're doing something like that where you have a risk of having something fly up and hit you in the eye, you must wear protective eyewear because it's just too serious of a problem that when you get a penetrating injury to your eye, that is, the force is so strong it cuts your eye, then you're at, you're at very high risk that uh, you can either lose your eye or lose significant vision in your eye. So if you are weed whacking, landscaping, cutting bushes, where you don't get, get scratched in the eye, grinding, working on a car or hammering on any kind of object, you've got to be wearing safety eye gear because we don't like to see these injuries because they're totally preventable as long as you're wearing protective eyewear. A long time ago, many years ago, I actually had a gentleman who essentially most lost most of his vision. We repaired his eye, but he lost most of his vision because he was he just made a mistake and he was shooting a uh, one of the the nail guns and uh, it ricocheted and didn't go. We missed where he was aiming and came back and hit him in the eye. So these injuries can be devastating. So please be careful. Uh, and uh, wear protective eye gear if you're at any risk of anything happening as far as something flying and hitting your eye, grinding on something, any of those things. So uh, if you have any questions about that type of injury, you can always contact us through the website. Just an interesting side note, we talked like the time before or so last about EKC or epidemic uh, keratoconjunctivitis and Tigersons punctate keratitis. I had a patient come in today that looks like they actually have Tigerson's punctate keratitis. Uh, he had been treated uh, since last April, a year ago April, uh, for irritation in his eye. He wasn't really sure what it was and he was using a corticosteroid in his eye pretty religiously for about five weeks starting last, a year ago April but then since then has just been intermittently using it when his eyes get irritated and he actually thought he had dry eyes. Turns out he does really have dry eyes too, uh, but he has he has this corneal infection that we have to clear up first, and then we, I told him we will get around to correcting his dry eyes. He looks like he'd be a very good candidate for lipoflow. So anyway, it's just Tigerson's uh, punctate keratitis is not that common. I gave a little uh, uh, discussion about it, and suddenly a patient comes in with it. So uh, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.